Did you know that humans are social creatures and that we are biologically wired to congregate and sort of be near one another? Social distancing is a very unnatural thing to us. Because physical isolation isn't in our nature, social distancing has the potential to be alarmingly detrimental to our mental health. I'm Raven, a mental health enthusiast, and today we are talking about social distancing and the impact that that can possibly have on our mental health. Depriving the human being of its biological need to be in close proximity with and, and to have physical contact with others really goes against, you know, our nature and it can have a negative effect on one's mental well-being. Things like depression and anxiety can kick in even if you've never experienced these things before. And if you already have any of these mental issues, like many of us do, social distancing can further exacerbate those already present symptoms. As always, I'm always going to encourage you to take care of yourself and your mental health and to continue to take your medications as directed by your mental health care provider. The monotony of staying home without breaking things up, you know, that, that sameness that we're all feeling, you know, during the social distancing really can make you feel like you're going crazy. Social outings like going to the movies, the mall, going out to eat, having barbecues in our backyards with all of our friends and family, all of these things are vital components in our social, um, in our social lives. It keeps us sane and happy and feeling like human beings. This period of social distancing has heavily restricted this social aspect of our lives, uh, possibly causing things like anxiety uh, and stress and giving us cabin fever. So I think what's important here uh, is that although we are social distancing, um, I think it's important that we don't um, engage in social isolation. There is a difference. So social distancing is, you know, we're being encouraged to stay home. Um, if you do have to go out for things, keep a six foot distance between you and the next person, you know, that's social distancing. Social isolation is when you ignore people completely, basically. You are not only staying at home, but you're also avoiding phone calls and FaceTime calls. So you're not even engaging with people at all. And that's what we don't want because that really can, again, exacerbate those symptoms of anxiety, depression, and any other pre-existing mental issues that you may have already had before any of this happened. If you find yourself struggling to sort of cope with and deal with this, you know, social distancing, I have some pretty good videos um, that'll help you get through this time. One of them is my self-care kit video where I show you how to put together your own self-care kit. I also have a really great grounding video where I show you my absolute favorite grounding technique to use in moments of anxiety and stress. I also have a really great journaling video where I teach you all about how to start journaling for the benefit of your mental health. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. It lets me know that you like my content. I'll see you next time. Bye.